Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the calculation for bending stress with given cantilever beam. So, first of all, we have given a cantilever beam having the section as 1.35 times the width of the section. So, let us assume the width of the cross section as a small b. Hence, according to the given data, our depth is 1.35 times the b. Now, second thing is given as the length of the cantilever beam as a 3.5 meter. Hence, our length is 3.5 meter. Now, we have to assume bending stress as 12 Newton per mm square, which is permissible. Hence, our sigma maximum is 12 Newton per mm square. And the cantilever B is loaded through 30 kN per meter over entire span. It means our UDL on the cantilever beam as 30 kN per meter. And we have to find out the cross section of the beam. So we have to determine the B and D of given section. Now going ahead for the solution, the neutral axis value which is at D by 2 of the depth of the section. So, our neutral axis is at t by 2 and our y value it means extreme fiber distance which is equal to d by 2 and our depth is 1.35 times b. So, 1.35 b divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.675 into b. So, we have to use y is equal to 0 0.675 b. Now, maximum moment for cantilever beam loaded with UDL, it is W L square by 2. Now, W is given as 30 kN per meter. So, 30 into length of the span as a 3.5 meter as a length. So, 30 into 3.5 square divided by 2, which is equal to 18. 3.75 in terms of kilo newton meter. So, our maximum moment is 183.75 kilo newton meter and Ixx it means moment of inertia with respect to xx axis for rectangular section which is equal to P d cube divided by 12. Now, putting the value B as a B D as a 1.35 times the base width. So, 1.35 to B cube divided by 12 which is equal to 0 0.21 into B raised to 4. Now, using pending stress equation which is equal to M by I which is equal to sigma by Y. Hence, our moment value is 183.75 in terms of kilo Newton meter. Hence, 183.75 into 10 raise to 6 Newton into mm and I is equal to 0 0.21 B raise to 4. Now, sigma is given as 12 Newton per mm square. Hence, we have to take sigma as a 12 divided by now Y as a D by 2 which is 0 0.675 B. Hence, 0 0.675 B in the denominator. Hence, solving the term, we have B cube is equal to 49218750. And taking the cube root of the value as 49218750, we have base value B is equal to 366.47 mm. So, our base width is as 366.47 and depth as a 1.35 into base width which is 366.47. Hence, our depth value is 494.73 mm. For sigma maximum as a 12 Newton per mm square, we have to select the lesser value of the required part. Hence, the value must be less than 366 mm as a base 
and 494 mm as a depth thank you